John Gilmore, Farm Lab Diagnostics. We're in the business of improving animal health through the use of cutting edge science. Today we're talking a little bit about yonis disease. We get a lot of questions on a daily basis about yonis. Why is it important? What, what does it mean? Um, and how does it come into herd? So I suppose firstly, what is yonis disease? Yonis disease is, um, without getting too complicated, a mycobacterial disease. It, uh, so it's a bacterial disease that cattle tend to pick up when they're at a very young age. So they're at their most susceptible when they're calves or when they're young stock, typically up to six months old. And then they can harbour that infection for um, quite a long period of time and maybe not show signs of it until later in life. So maybe until they're five or six years old. The, um, the typical signs are diarrhoea and wasting. So they're the classical signs that you you read about that cows with Jonas disease will scour profusely and waste away and eventually die if they're not culled. But I suppose what we've seen practically out in farm is that a lot of the time these cows don't get culled for those reasons, but maybe they maybe they come down with some other disease such as mastitis, or maybe they have metritis after calving, or they're dirty, or um, for some other reason, and maybe they get culled inadvertently for that. So. Um, it's not just the classic thing of a cow that that's, has diarrhea and she can't be cured. While that does happen, they can be culled for other reasons as well. So, as we said earlier, yonis is spread to young calves when they're, when they're at a very young age. The younger they are, the more susceptible they are to yonis disease. So, um, that means that a calf that comes in contact with faecal material, mainly, when it's a young calf, can contract yonis disease from an infected cow. Equally, a cow that's positive and that um, the calf takes the colostrum, that can be a source of infection for, the, for that calf. And um, so the other source of infection then is some calves can be infected before they're born. So cow, calves from cows that are heavily infected are often infected before ever they hit the ground. It's difficult to put an exact cost on, on what, what Yon is, is costing to Irish farmers. Um, on a yearly basis. What we do know is that where yon is, is a problem on farms, it reduces the value of the stock, it means that they're less saleable, it means that they also run into problems with, with, other, with other diseases of which, as we've mentioned, such as pre post-calving conditions, such as mastitis, uh, whites or dirty cows, um, and cows wasting away for, for other reasons. So the exact cost is known. We know that the, the prevalence of it in different farms can vary. Sometimes it can be at a very low level. Sometimes it can be there at higher levels. What we do know is that the earlier that you tackle it and look for it, then the better chance you have controlling it and reducing it on the farm. So the main way that we test for yonase is through the use of blood samples or milk samples, looking for what we call antibodies. So the antibodies are the cow's immune response to the, to the disease. So essentially what that means is, as we said earlier, the calf gets infected when it's very young, but then the cow over the next few years um, starts to realize that it, that it actually has this infection. So when it's very young, the, cow, the cow's immune system doesn't realize that this Yonis disease bacteria is living in its gut silently, but as it starts to proliferate and starts to uh, grow inside the cow, the cow will mount an immune response. This immune response we measure as antibodies, and that's how we test using the milk or blood samples. If we get positive samples on milk or blood, then we can also follow up with another test, um, which is a faecal test, where we look for the presence of the actual Yonis organism using a PCR test, which is a very advanced type of testing, a molecular test, but essentially we're looking for the organism in the feces of the animal. Um, I suppose one of the key concepts or one of the key things to get in your head about Jonas disease is that it's a slow process. If you do identify, we talked about identifying, how do you know? So uh, the testing is really only useful when it's looked at on a herd basis. So we look to see whether there's evidence of Jonas in the herd and then the disease has to be managed at a herd level. So all of the things that we talk about in other diseases, infectious diseases, in, in managing them, controlling them are important for yonis in terms of uh, trying to maintain a closed farm, trying to not buy in stock that might be infected, 
Um, but there are some key things then that um, a farmer's vet needs to do with them. This is why um, you can put a risk management plan in place. Animal Health Ireland have done a lot of work on, on working with vets and farmers to, to set up risk management plans that can be put in place on farm. And that involves managing your calves, trying to limit their exposure to yonis from infected cows, and by taking into account cows that are high risk from your, your testing that you've done over a period of time. So yonis is something that can't be tackled overnight or indeed over a short number of years. It's something that's an ongoing process, but it is something that can be controlled and good, good progress can be made even in heavily infected herds by putting a good risk management plan in place with the farm's vet.